System design is one of the most important role you're going to have in the company where you have to design the entire system of the protocol, smart contract, entire front end part. So tons of things are involved when you are working on a decentralized application where you have to build every single thing flawlessly, including with the smart contract technology, which you're going to utilize in the front end side and how you're going to interact with different tools and software, which will allow you to connect with the blockchain. So there is tons of things that are involved and it is one of the most important role which you have to perform correctly before you start writing the very first line of code if you are really want to build a good and scalable application. So in this video, we'll talk about the system design. So here I have the system design, which I'm currently working on for one of our client project is called decentralized exchange tab. This is what I have called complete system design architecture and it's going to be for the decentralized exchange, but you can replicate this to any application. So first we are highlighting the core important fundamentals that what are things we're going to utilize highly. So we have this Web3 means we have to focus on the Web3 infrastructure and bring out all the things which are available, which we can utilize in our application. We're going to interact with a smart contract. So we're going to write a couple of custom contract and we're going to interact with existing contract on the protocol. So there is tons of contract we're going to interact. We're also going to compare with the decentralized exchange, which we have at the moment. And what are the features we are bringing into our exchange? We're going to talk about DeFi app. So if I come back here, here you will find the complete system architecture, which I have designed. I'll tell you all the flows which I have included. So this is the architecture we have. So first we're going to have the overview. So you will find that I have categorized few things based on the technology, which I'm going to utilize and how we're going to utilize it. So we have the front end layer. We have the backend layer and we have the blockchain layer. So all the things which you have to note down that how you can utilize each one of these tools in your application. So in the front end side, we have all of this option, which you have to use it when you want to build a decentralized application. You need to have a, a kind of framework and react next years. These frameworks are really powerful. You will find tons of library, which you can include in your project. So that's what we have included. We're going to interact with the blockchain. So we need some kind of connection and this Web3 model will help us a lot so that's what we have keep in the front end side. We have the wallet connection. So you're going to build your own custom wallet, which you're going to interact in the application, or you can use the external wallet like Phantom Wallet or MetaMask to provide the connection. You're going to provide both the option. You need to have some sort of function which fetch the data real time in the front end side so you can display the data. You can do the fetching of the data inside the contract of the chain or in the front end side through the API calls as well. And we have other managements like the state management. There are other tools. You can go with the context management or you can go with the like react query tons of things we have in that. So this is all the required tools which you have to use it in the front end side. Without this, you cannot be able to manage the entire component, entire data in the front end side. So that's what we have listed. The next one we have is the back end. This one is very important because in the back end, where you're going to provide most of the security part for providing a better authentication, security in the transaction, you're going to keep the important API keys, private key. That's all you're going to keep it in your back end. So you have to highlight that how you're going to utilize it, your back end part. So you can have multiple options, but we are focusing heavily on the JavaScript framework like Node.js. You can customize it. You can build your own environment around this particular protocol. So this one is really powerful. We have WebSocket server. It's also really amazing. We have the price Oracle. So this will allow you to fetch the data of the of the exchange or any kind of data you can easily be able to get by calling this Oracle price. This one is absolutely amazing. We have the order matching. We have the analytical engine. So these are a few things which you go to utilize when you want to maintain the data, when you want to compare the data, when you want to provide accurate data in the application so user can perform the trade. So this is the technology we're going to utilize it. The main thing we have to focus is the Node.js. If you're good with Node.js, you can easily be able to manage all of this. So that's what we have. The next one we have is the blockchain layer, because here you're going to interact with the existing contract and you're going to write your own contract as well. That's why we have highlighted the exchange contract. So sometimes what will happen that if you want to compare and provide a feature where user can perform the trade like a farming, like a yelling, and that you need to have a interaction model within your exchange so you can able to fetch and perform the trade. So this one is important and you will find that most of the decentralized exchange follow this particular one exchange and interacting with external contract. You need to know how to handle the token contract because right now we have multiple one. We have multiple feature. Even you can write the same contract with upgraded model. So that's what you have to understand. You have to also understand about the liquidity pool that which token has the liquidity pool. If there is a new token, which the user wants to create the liquidity in the exchange that how you can connect with the existing network for the Polygon, Binance or any other exchange, how you can provide that. You have to understand about the DAO governance. 
we have to understand about the security model. So this is the three structure we have, which you have to know and have the understanding. Then you can able to build and go into the deeper section of each one of the session. So that's the about our overview. You can see we have the core components, smart contract, API endpoints, security level. That's all we can highlight. There is tons of things which we can do, which we're going to explore together. Just wait. Now let's come back to the visual design. This is the one which I have designed and you can see I'll simply close this one. So I can show you that here we have the front end side. So if I open drag and drop right up here, you can see that what are things we have highlighted. The, so what are the options you have? You can use it in the front end size. Like we have the TypeScript, we have the React, we have the Telvin CS, which one is really powerful because you can't write the custom CSS. You can, you have a choice, but Telvin CS is really powerful and it's a industry norm at the moment. So you can use that one. If you want to use the chart, you can go with the trading view. And if you want to go with the state management, Redux toolkit is really powerful. If you really want to learn about the Redux Toolkit, make sure to watch this particular project. You will master complete how to use Redux Toolkit in your project to manage your state. So this is what we have. You can see all the things which you can check. You can check the configuration model. You can check the monitor model. Tons of things we have. So this is the front-end interface we have. In the same way, if you want to cheat the API, you can come back here and can see what are the things you have in the API. So we have the real time, which is the Node.js. We have the framework. For building, we can use the Express. We have the database. We can go with the MongoDB. SQL is also at the moment we have the authentication. We can use this JWT. We can go with the cache with this one. So this is the model we have. If you want to scale it up, you can check what we have here. You can monitor, you can debug. That's all is possible right up here. Got it? So that's what we have in the design. If you want to come about the WebSocket, you can simply bring it back. And if I let's bring it on top of it, you can see we have the WebSocket. We have the socket.io. You can see how many users can handle. You can see the latency. You can see failover. That's all we have. You can test. You can score. You can monitor. That's all you can do it. If you come out about the database, there you will have multiple options. Like as we have discussed about SQL is really powerful. Cache, MongoDB, and we have all of this regular components. So this is few options you have which you can pick for the database. If you come back to the smart contract, this one is the most important thing because mostly when you go to work on a decentralization, you go to deal with the contract, you're going to deal with the existing network. So like Solidity is the most important programming language because right now 80% of the contract which you will find it's on the EVM compatible chain, whether you talk about Polygon, Binance, Arbitrum, Ethereum, 80% of the contract you will find on this chain. So you have to know Solidity, then you can able to understand and make a better connection with the exchange. Like Ethereum is the most popular one and most of the value you will have on the Ethereum. You have to understand about the gas optimizers and you have to understand about the audit part. You have to understand about the upgradable proxy, how you can utilize it in your contract. Because right now the contracts are following the upgradable proxy model. That's what we have here. If you come up about the Oracle price, this one is also very cool feature we have. You can easily be able to call the price of the tokens or any exchange price inside your contract. So this one is a really powerful feature. Chainlink is one of the popular provider we have at the moment. You can see how frequently they're updating the data at the moment. You can see the pairs, you can see the accuracy rate because this can go a little up and down. So when you are including in your project, you have to check that what is the accuracy rate and based on that, you can perform the trade because there is a like Oracle is really powerful and their data. You can simply use it straight away in your project. You will find that they have the multi source. So that's all you can monitor. And if you come back to the wallet, Obviously, you're going to allow the user to have some sort of connection. So there is multiple providers we have at the moment, like MetaMask is the most popular one. Wallet Connect, which is the multiple wallet provider. It will allow the user to perform the transaction even in mobile device and having a smooth connection. So you will have the multiple chain. You will have a hardware support. If you go with the Connect Wallet, it's also really powerful. Yet they will also provide you the UI UX and they will also have the social recovery model as well. So you can check. You can simply allow them all of this feature, which is really powerful. So you have seen that now we can come back to the security level. If I come back here to that, what are the measures you can take? And this one is really important because when the user will sign the transaction, see the transaction hash, it's quite huge. So you have to provide the data in such a way so user can understand that what signing it's exactly doing. So you can see. So if you are working on a contract related to an exchange where you will have billions of dollars, it's important that you need to have this multiple signer model where you will allow the user to have multiple signer, then the transaction will proceed can add the real limit, monitoring, encryption, and audit part. That's all you can hide like. So this is what we have in the design flow. That's how you have to design. That's how you have to categorize each one of the technology that which option you have and how you can easily able to integrate in your project. So we have seen all of that. Now we can come back to the architecture and there you will find that this is the workflow we follow generally.
Sure. So in the front part, we have the options like React, TypeScript, Web3. You can use EtherJS, Trading View Chart, Wallet, and Redux State Management. As I told you that first you have to go with the overview, then you have to go with the visual direction. After that, you have to design the architecture that how you go to short it down that which tools and technology which you want to use it. And at the end, you have to finalize. So here you will find that what are the things we have finalized in the front end part. If you come back to the back end part, we are using Node.js, WebSocket, Order and Price Oracle and Caching. In the data layer, we are using the SQL. Uh, you can go with the MongoDB. There is no problem. Here we have that analytical part. And for the IPFS managing the uh, metadata, I'm going to use the IPFS. It's really powerful. And you can easily be able to listen all the events which is happening. That's all you will get it. So in the architecture. So what we have done, first we have gone with the overview. Then we have designed the visual design. Then we have gone with the architecture and we have narrowed down our options that what we are exactly going to use it. Then come back to the features and then you will find that these are the options we have in the feature section. So you can add like advanced order system, advanced order type. You can add trading bot. You can add an analytical dashboard. You can add cross chain trading. You can add yield farming. You can add lending and borrowing. And then we'll have a couple of things which you can simply explore, which will be there in a decentralized exchange because you're going to provide all of this. You can't, you can't have a single exchange model. So that's what we have here in the farming. If I come back to the trading flow, and if you come here, this is how it's going to be followed. So you can see we have the trading flow that how it's going to exactly happen, the transaction and when the user will come to our application, how it's going to perform the transaction. So first, the connection of the wallet, token approval, metadata, order placement, order matching, statement, UI update, the terms of things we have. You can also design the liquidity flow that how you want to add the liquidity flow in the contract because it's going to be have a multiple contract. You are not allowing user to interact directly on the exchange using through the any particular provider you are going through your application so you have to understand that how you're going to provide that liquidity flow and design that one so we have the liquidity we have the lpl token we have the automated market model we have the am trading we have the fee collection we have the remove liquidity so these are the options we're going to provide it so this is the entire system design which you have to design before you write your first piece of code whenever you're going to work on your application so these are the important things which you have to keep in mind that spot trading liquidity pool governance and secure this is the core feature which going to be dedicate to your entire feature which you are providing in your application. So that's how you have to design. And this one is the most high paying job you will have at the moment because right now, right now in the industry, you will find tons of boilerplate code will be generated with the help of AI. And then you're going to simply go and enhance and provide better security. Pick the option based on your system design, which you want to include in your application. So this one is very important. I would highly encourage you to design the visual diagram where you can easily be able to monitor that how things are happening what are the options you have for utilizing there is tons of feature when it's come to checking the price doing the validation of the price before we perform the transaction i definitely suggest you to go with oracle and if you ask me about the backend server i would highly encourage you to use websocket use node.js and express this one is really powerful you can go with mongodb or sql this one is also really powerful so these are the some prime options which i always use in most of my project which you have noticed definitely so this is what i have so i hope you have understood that what are the things and how you have to design your entire system flow once you will design this you will automatically understand that what are things are actually required to build application and provide a better security better feature to the user and you can easily be able to scale the application if you want to add any feature in the future because scalability is the most important thing you cannot go into have the same business model. You're going to add something on top of it. You're going to simply remove something. So these things will be come and go. So you have to get your application according to that when you are working on a large scale application. And this is what exactly you're going to do when you will start working on the bigger project. So I hope you have understood that how you have to plan your system design and more of the things you have to keep in mind. So that's the only thing I want to keep it here. I want to make it short. So I want you all to design a simple system design where you can highlight all the technology, all the features, functionality, which you are including in the contract. Just build a simple and try to do the practice before you write the code. This will help you a lot. So that's the only thing from my end. If you have any question, any doubt, just let me know in the comment section. I'll definitely try to help in that. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.